Have you ever been annoyed by a presentation deck that had text so small you couldn't read it from the back of a room? Or have you ever been frustrated by a document with such tiny text that you wished you had had a magnifying glass so you could actually read the thing? If you've ever been confronted with text that's way too small to read comfortably, you've likely been the victim of text shrink. Now, I'm calling this text shrink because people don't tend to set out with the goal of making something that's painful to read. It usually starts out okay, and then shrinks, and shrinks even more over edits. So, what causes a well-intentioned design to end up with this annoying problem? Well, there are two easily avoidable reasons that I see all the time. First, there's the problem of trying to fit too much text in a design. Sure, you start up kind of light, but then someone needs to add in a sentence here and another one here, and then you worry oh, the middle doesn't make sense without some backstory, and another person comments on how a graph would be helpful, and then your manager insists that the thing stay at three slides regardless of how much detail you actually need. And to make all that work, you consistently shrink the text a bit, and then shrink it some more, and then shrink it a tiny bit more. And making the text a bit smaller doesn't seem like that big a change each time, but it really adds up. And before you know it, it's way too tiny to read comfortably. So what do you do to fix this? First, edit the thing down to just what your audience really needs. You can usually cut a bunch of content by continually asking yourself if they already know or even care about all the content that you've provided. Cut anything that isn't important to them. Also, in the long term, you can do a lot to avoid this kind of text drink by changing people's mindsets about length. People tend to assume that shorter is always better, but in reality, having a slightly longer but substantially more readable slide deck or handout, book, e-learning lesson, or whatever else you're designing is pretty much always more effective at communicating than a shorter but harder to read version. The other issue that I see that causes text drink is not being thoughtful about how someone is actually going to view a design. For instance, a PowerPoint slide can look pretty readable on your computer screen, but what looks all right on a screen close to your face can look pretty lousy on a projector screen from the back of the room or on a tiny smartphone screen. The easiest way to avoid this is to just make sure to test your design out in the ways you know people will be looking at it. Think they'll be reading it on a tablet? Well, then look at it on a tablet. Think they'll be printing it? Well, then print it out too. Don't have access to a projector to test things out on? Well, then fake the experience by stepping a few feet away from your computer screen. Taking a few minutes to test something in the real way your audience will experience it will save you from making major text shrink mistakes. In the end, text shrink is incredibly common, but completely avoidable if you can trim down your content and keep everything focused on your audience's needs and experience.